All right. So, I'm in my second cup of coffee. Drop the girls off to school. Return home. I have a couple of chores to do. And then I'm looking to head back down to the garden store where I will be purchasing some hot peppers and some pak choy. Right now, usually I like to have my soil prepared before I get my plants. But in this case, I'm going to get the plants. I'm going to come home. Then I'm going to be doing the soil mix. So today you'll get to see how I mix my soil. And hopefully when I go down to the garden store, I'll be able to get some footage of inside the store. Show you all the types of... um supplies that they carry and they're quite friendly people so i'm sure i will be able to tape right so i'm looking forward to that and as i say it's friday enjoy your day weekend coming up my kids always look forward to the weekend they love being home with us and I can't blame them. I can't blame them at all. Right? Cora is such a beautiful place and they enjoy the outdoor activity. They like to be inside too, doing the little drawing, being on their um, devices. Right? So, hopefully, they don't get too much of homework. Right? Usually they will do their homework on a Friday afternoon so that the weekend is free. Right? So, as I say, I have a couple of chores to do. So, let me go and deal with that quick and we head along the road after. Alright, so guys, I finished doing what I to do and I look at the head down to G1's agriculture shop now. But let me show you all something before I leave right i have approximately 14 small pots here right and my intention is that since i don't have the garden soil itself i'm talking about planting in the earth since i really don't have many spots prepared because the soil was too hard before the rain right what i decide that i will do is buy enough seedlings and put them into these pots right and what that is going to do is help the seedlings develop a better rooting system and by that time i will have the soil prepared and i'll put them into the ground for example look at this little seedling right when i placed this seedling in this pot it was approximately half the size of this right so this seedling Let's say approximately in two weeks time, it's going to have a very good rooting system and it's going to stand a better chance in the ground. Now, you see this? This little tank I have here with these tilapias. I have a little idea. You'll notice there's some sunlight on that side. Now, I'm very interested in trying to do some watercress. So I want to introduce this sort of in the form of using the aquaphonics idea, right? And I want to try doing some watercress in this. It's the perfect timing because as you know, it's only on a weekend apparently most vegetable stalls will actually have watercress available. So today i had to make sure i get this set up so that tomorrow please god i could get that going so we head along the road and as i said it's friday and religiously they are here so we score today yeah man take your time take your time brother And I don't miss, right? Forgive me, but as a man, I always looking on the side of the road 
and are looking out because plenty of people are throwing away a lot of stuff that could come in quite useful for things that I want to do, right? Now, a lot of times in the past, I pick up stuff that I have to end up throwing away again. But this morning, I see something and I'm hoping that it's still there. All it's missing is some bolt and nuts, right? As I approach it, or let's see where it is, Mr. Sara, going and stop on the side of the road and pick up. All right, so it looks like a broken stool, but believe it or not, some bolt and nuts, and I will get this thing working, right? I could do it. I could do a lot of stuff with this, right? So I'm picking this up, and I'm putting it in the car. All right, so guys, I'm going to show you the location of G1's agriculture shop, right? It is run by his wife and himself, right? If you are coming from the east, right, you will pass Cora Junction, right, and the building is going to be on the right hand side, right. There's a sign here, it's actually GPM Agro and Gift Shop. So, let me see if we can talk to the man himself, man. Good morning, Mr. Jiwan. How are you going, boss? All right, so what happened is that I recently started a, a YouTube channel, okay. and a lot of people have been calling me and asking, you know, which part I'm sourcing my stuff from. They're interested in the hummingbird feeders, the seedlings, your compost, your manure, everything basically. Let me take a little walk through. You're good. Right? We, we could. We could Right, so while you're getting prepared, I'll show you all some of the stuff that he has here. Right, now remember the idea that I told you all that I will buy some small seedlings and I'll put them in pots. This is what it will result in. A bigger plant, more established roots, and then you place it into the ground. Right, so you see how big those seedlings could get in such a small container, right? Some nice little slippers there. And for who are into bromeliads, there's quite a variety. Show you some prices. And I'm seeing some beautiful Bulgan villas. We have like two feet that bear in early with fruits. Portugal, right. oranges. That bear wow. So guys, look at this. In this little bag here, this orange tree is already producing. So if you have a concrete yard, definitely you could get yourself a big pot and you could get some this citrus Portugal. going. Huh? Portugal. That's Portugal. Yeah. Right. And what's the cost of that? $75. All right. $75 for a bearing tree. You can't go wrong. All right. Let me head into the store, man. Welcome to GPM at Green Gift Shop. This is our little plant here. Thank you for having us. Yes, man. All right. So, feel free. So, I already seen something that I want to add to my garden. Right, we have some nice flower windmills here. A lot of gardening tools. Lots of gardening tools. Variety of pots. More tools. And guys, this is the compost that I will be using, right? I usually buy this size bag, which is $89, right? We have more pots here. So you can turn your garden into something very beautiful by using a variety of pots, or if you want to keep one standard, you know, you use one type of pot, right? 
pot and mix. Right, this is what we call perlite. Today, I use leaves, but if you want, you could purchase mulch. Right, there are many hanging baskets, variety in terms of sizes of spray cans that you could use depending on the size of your garden. Does it make sense having such a big spray can and you have a small garden, right? You might go with something like this. We have some more soil here. Soil looks good. Right? It's nice and light. This is your personal mix. Yeah, nice and light. Yeah. Crack corn. When last you see some crack corn? Right? Baskets. Lining. Right? If you're into pets, they have colors, dog chains, mats. Ooh, beautiful hats for the girls. Right? And this here now is all the different type of salts that you can use. There's root and salt, flowering and bearing, right? And this is what you call liquid fertilizer, right? So right now, the only thing that I am using in my garden is the blow corn. I'll wait until the plants, you know, have enough roots and I will start to fertilize them with the blue corn, right? And this is Nutrex, right? This will be good for things like the pak choy and lettuce, any green and leafy vegetables, right? No, I have to see. I try to stay away a lot from chemicals, but I have no choice whenever I'm putting seedlings directly into the ground. Initially, I have to use something like fast stack or malathion, right? Otherwise, the cricket's going to pass and just chop down my plants, right? So I try my best to stay away from chemicals, but that is one chemical that I always have to use initially. You have hummingbird feeders? Yeah, in front. Yeah. In front? Yeah. We got some house plants here. Things to add to your veranda porch or in your garden. And I would like to get two of the um common bird feeders. What's the cost of them? Number seventy-five. Right. So the common bird feeders are seventy-five dollars each. Right. If you're into chicken rearing, they also have stuff for that. Let me get these seedlings, and. I want to thank G1 and his wife for allowing me to walk through this beautiful store, right? Come and give them some support. If you live in the area, it's going to be quite convenient, right? Come and give them some support. It will be greatly appreciated. So guys, conveniently located right next to the agriculture section is the clothing store. As you would have seen and guessed before, it's run under the same family, right? And this is G1's wife, Petronella. Good morning, always smiling so nicely. So we're going to take a little walk through the store. All right, so we can introduce what we have here is, okay, so we're in the front, so this is the men, some of the men stuff. Right. We have some basic stuff like boxes, briefs and stuff. They have little socks and 
so slippers, everyday slippers. Then we have, in the men's stuff, we have regular size and we have half a size. Right. We have sizes that goes up to 5X. Okay, okay. You know, so we have men who are tall, have size, we right. have size. We have jeans that goes up to size 48, size 50. You're catering for everybody. You're catering from the smallest to the biggest. <laughs> I like that, I like that. Yeah. Nice. So when you buy your plants and you grow your plants and you have your food, you have your clothing right. as well, we dress you as well. Yes. We also have for weddings, events, for church. You come, you order, you know, the shop is small, but we have the stuff, you know, you just right. come in and you ask. Different type of shades, different, you know. When you say like um events for like weddings and so forth, yes. what do you mean? Like if you want particular type of clothing? Yes, everybody likes it. You know, I have customers who have preference. You know, right. they have, you know, darling, I don't want belly to show, or, you know, if some people have size, like I have, you know, so you want to be tailored fit, you right. want to be comfortable when you dress, Good. you know, so what I do, I look, I listen, and I look for what customers want, and I get a big hug out at the end of the day, right. <laughs> when they get this stuff, good, good, you good. know, so it has for all works, right. you know, you want certain fabric, you want certain lengths, certain yes. cuts, yeah. Men, women, it have boys, it have girls. Well, I know Ellis is buy a lot of um, stuff for her girls in here. Yes, your girls just get all her, all their stuff. Right. Your wife get her stuff. She bought for you already. Your guys are going yes. to the wedding. Yes. She got a lovely shirt for you right here. Yes. You know? So. Which part the, um, the kid stuff? The kid stuff. So I have some of the kid stuff here with the babies. Right. Oh, they want to get a little gift. Yes. So it has so if you have a little popo. -po. <laughs> You could come right here. Boy and girl, you mm -hmm. know, and look, we have a little mother's mother's day coming up, so we have some little mother's day stuff. Right. We have perfume, you know, Good. we have little jewelry, that is sunglasses when you're going to the beach or when you're driving. Right. Lovely sunglasses, you know, different style, different price range. You know, it's one thing I like about the bold sections of the stores, right? You all have a bit of everything. Yes. We have jeans a lot. I have a lot of plus size jeans as my customers. Right. You know, that's, you know, I have those customers. Okay. You know, it's have wood pants, nice quality. Different parts of the world it comes from. Right. Here, so Panama, LA, Miami. Nice. Different, yeah, different quality. You good, know. good. They have if you're going to a wedding. You know, you want a nice dress for a wedding. I have kids come for graduation. They get the gums and stuff. This is mm -hmm. available in two colors. In this, in the burgundy and black, they have those who want little glitter. Right. You know, they get little sexy glitter. <laughs> Pretty dresses, man. Pretty dresses, yeah. Have, uh, it have quite a lot of different ones. It have for the mature ladies, Mother's Day coming up. Yes. So, mommy, you know, nice dress, you know, lovely fabric. Good. Then we have steel, we have a clearance steel on this rack, 50% off. 50% off. 50% off. All so right, that's fantastic. Dresses, you know, different colors. Ooh, I like and that black dress. This will fit your wife. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Then we have like these are sparkles. Right. Nice back. It come in different colors. We have different colors. But what happened is, you know, stuff come and go. Sizes, some sizes go, some sizes stay. So I decide, okay, give her 50% off. Right. You know? Okay. Now, these dresses are lovely. These dress sizes are limited. Okay. You know? It has some tops. We have ends, tops, like $50 tops. Right. Look at this one here. This is a 50%. So what would be? It was $225. It's now $125. $125? Yes. Why? Which is under the cost, but it's one piece. Right. So we give it on the seat. Well, I will, I will see. That's an excellant price. Yes. I'm not too familiar with the prices of dresses, yes. but that sounds good to me. We have all the casual ones here. Like we have some that is maybe one sixty, so we eighty dollars. Okay. You know, then it have one twenty, which will be half the sixty dollars. Right. You know, so they're all different prices. Really good prices, yes. and I see you have some boys' clothes here. Yes. We have boys, we have boys on this side. We have right. two to eat. We have suits that have t-shirts, but it's have a lot of suits. Like you get short pants and and the jerseys, but it's have shirts. Then nice. we have the girls on this side. Okay, well this is boys, close your eyes. 
right? They have some lady stuff here yes, too. Yes, nice lady stuff. Right. And this obviously is the the girl section here. Yes. All right. So this is where Princess Margaret on them <laughs> is beginning all them pretty yes. clothes. It have like sleepwear. It have like you know you just going mm -hmm. casual stuff. You're going maybe to church, right? You get like these, you know, little girls. Oh, that is nice. Some in different size. That is nice. Colors, you know. What's the cost of a dress like that? Like this is around one fifty. One fifty. Okay, yes. good. Yeah, it have some ninety nine. It have some everyday ones. Forty five different price range. Right. Different price range. And then it have some casual ones, you know. Mm hmm. It have sleepwear. As you get to the place, it's small, so the clothes, you know, it's a lot yes, of yes, stuff yes, to go yes, through. Yes, 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 yes. And have the plus size shirts for ladies working. There are ladies who like cotton. Right. So you can get cotton shirts. You know, it have the basic t-shirt. For the young girls. Oh, that's nice. Any age. They don't have a yeah. age clothing. <laughs> Good have, one. It have those who like, um, like maybe for the office. Mm -hmm. It's very flowing. Right. You know, and this is from USA. This is one fifty. Good. You know, we have some for one twenty. So there's Excellent. a price range. Right, man. If you want the cardigans, we have cardigans different lengths. We have this length here. We have the long, fashionable ones. Different colors are coming. Right. These are very classy. Different colors so you find you could put on a tank top, a jeans, right? A little wedge, and you know, you yeah, just go hang out, you know. And uh, what's the going price of those? These are like between 195, 175, 220. Okay, good. Then it have little jackets, 150, you know, it have the work jackets, it have cardigans, mm -hmm. cardigans with the buttons, 150, different styles. Different colors, different. It go from size small to three X. Right. They get all the sizes. You're really, you're really catering for everybody. You have the ladies who tops to go with pants, who want sleeves, they have different colors. Who want a little glitter, they get glitter. You know, see a lot of the tops you would see in the shop are big sizes because my customers, you know, is more the plus size. Yes. They want a nice. A wood top for your pants, different colors, pants in three colors, you know. And as you see, the sizes different style skates who want long, get long, you know, who want over the knee, get over the knee, right? You know, different lengths, good man. And in the regular sizes, you get pieces like these that come in quite a few colors. Mm -hmm. you know, these are like one fifty. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So it have a lot of different styles, you know, similar but each one different, you know. Right. See, like this is a one piece remaining. These sold out. Yes. You know, they have some basic ones. Some customer might just want a, to throw on a little jeans, you know. These are the regular sizes. Very nice. These are all from LA, so the fabric is really nice. Good, last, I could see that. They last years, they last. Yes. You know? I mean, and you what, what I like about it is that when you finish doing all this shopping in the agri section and the clothes section, you could get something cool to drink when oh, you finish. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look, we have the casuals here. One little casual inner. This inner is like start from $25. Right. So that's like those that have the plus size here. It goes from small to extra large, but the extra large, um, my customers who are like a 2x, 3x, they fit it perfect. Right. So you can use like a little inner for the little short pants like these. Right. You know, it has the, the tights for under your clothing. Good. It has like, who likes the leggings, maybe to exercise or just relax. Yes. You know, it has different, it has solid ones, it has pattern ones, because some people like plain. Yes. And then some people like pattern. You know? Yes. So we come coming. I don't want nothing busy. I just want something simple. Right. You know, we have all those cardigans up there on sale. They're seventy-five dollars, different colors. 
to have a Danim one and have those colored ones there. Right. We have shorts like they're going to line by the river or the beach. It has swimwear, it has a cover up, different things. Right. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you very much. Right? It's a new channel that I'm starting. Yes. Right? So I don't have many subscribers as yet. Well, right? But I'm sure. Yes, yes, I am sure that the channel will grow. Yes. And I'm happy to know that you gave me some content here this I'm morning. I'm that you came and you included us. Yes. yes. Right? And hopefully one day this video could be hitting like a 10,000 oh, views. Yes, yes. Right? So, I am in a ravine currently. And I am looking for something that is more gravelly than stony. And I found myself a nice deposit. Let me show you what this stuff looks like. I have my two buckets there and I have my speed. So, this is one of my key ingredients, right? So, let me gather this up and head back up the road. So guys, little by little, you could carry my ton of stuff, right? I have a lot of pots home already, and this is what I've been doing. There's a little two buckets each trip. All right, guys. So, I have everything here ready to mix my soil right i have two gallons of perlite half bag of compost one bag one bucket of river gravel and limestone and this is my basic mix right after this is when uh when the plants begin to establish i will add in things like blue corn maybe some cow manure right so let me show you the setup here now this river gravel there are some stones in it which i would like to remove so i have this little sifter that i made here i made it that it could fit nicely over the wheelbarrow so i'm going to set up my camera and i'm going to begin the process all right so the first thing i'm going to do is sift out sift out my gravel right Anna thanks once again for the gloves you see how utilizing it right right and I'll empty about half of the bucket right I got in a rush I'm doing this for relaxation purposes. I'm not doing this for anything commercial, right? So I just enjoy my day and doing my thing. Right? Good words. Good sign. Which means to say, that there is some organic matter in here. The final earthworm means to say we have living organisms inside of here, right? So you see, you don't want this in the garden. And we move on to the other half. So, if I didn't mention as yet, if you do have this kind of stuff available to you, right? This is equivalent to sharp sand. But as I said, this may actually have some more organic material in it All right
Right, so the next thing I will add to this, I'm going to add the half bag of compost. spread this around a bit break it up one time good rich dark stuff now when the add be pull light No, you may not have noticed this, right? But while I was spreading this, I was holding my breath. It has a lot of dust. I really don't know if it's harmful. You see it blowing, right? So if you want, and in particular, you can put on a, a face mask, right? So as we added the perlite, what does perlite do? Perlite makes the soil very light, right? It also helps in retaining a bit of moisture, right? But generally, it will help keep a lot of air inside of the soil, right? Final ingredient. This is hydrated lime. And I don't work with any specific measurement. Just like when you're making roti, I look in, I spread some around evenly. I have never had any issues like this causing my plants to burn or anything like that, right? So, we basically have all the ingredients in here, and now it's time to mix up. While you're mixing up, you're breaking up all the clumps, right? You're trying to bring the gravel up to the top. I could tell already the soil is becoming very light because of the perlite in particular and the compost. So you basically making your own pot in soil here, right? If you have to buy this, it will be about double the price because remember, people have to purchase these things and they're definitely going to put a 100% markup on it. I can already feel that this is going to be perfect, right? So I'll pause there for a while and then we'll go to some potting. All right, so I have myself here six hot pepper plants. My intention is I want to try three in pots, right? Bring them up to a substantial size, then transplant them into the ground. But the other three, I'm going to actually put them in the ground and see what kind of results we get. So, we're gonna put out three hot pepper plants right now, right? Make sure there are a lot of holes. In your soil. Right, they say it's not good to handle plants by the stem, but I can't help it. Something that I do. I make a little hole stick it in and not too far above 
where the, the stem of the plant starts, right? Now, I went a little higher because when I water this plant in, the soil is going to settle. Notice I am not packing the soil, right? The water is going to do that for me, right? So, I'm going to put out the other two and then we're going to put some tomatoes. So, once again, I have six tomato plants. I'm going to try three in pots and I'm going to try three directly into the ground. Now, when you're planting tomatoes, right, it's recommended that you plant them deep, right? Uh, what happens is that if you notice along the, the tomato stem, you will see some tiny little hairs where those actually grow into roots. So I'm going to try to plant these tomato plants deep into the pot and finish fill it up with the soil. So I'm going deep as possible. Try to center the plant. Keep it upright. And it's as simple as that. The pot is extremely light. That is what you're looking for. Of course, when you add water to this, the pot will become heavier. But could you imagine if you had just used soil directly from your garden, right? In about two weeks' time, that soil in there is going to become very, very hard, right? Roots are going to be in trouble. And once the plants do have sufficient roots, well, you're on to a good start for fungus and bacteria and that sort of thing, right? So here's the plan. The other plants that I'm going to be trying in the ground, I'll be breaking up the ground a bit, right? Not too much because it's really season. You don't want to end up in a situation where you mean too much of a pool and now that's collecting water, right? So I'm just going to break the soil a bit, gather up some soil, from the surrounding area, mixing some of this and then put my plant, right? So when that time reaches, we'll see how it's done. Okay, so I have I have about 12 pak choy plants and I have one big pot remaining, right? It's not a large pot, right? But I actually want to see what kind of results I will get with just one pak choy plant in a pot this size. So let me put out this guy. I think it will it will do well. I think there's enough soil inside of there to sustain this plant. We'll see how it looks as time goes by. All right, guys. So these are the amount of plants that I decided to put out, and the rest I'm gonna be trying in the soil. Right. So let me show you something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 pots and we still have a lot of stuff there to use right so as i said i am going to go into the garden now and i'm going to prepare some spots right and i'll be incorporating some of this all right guys i don't know how the sunlight is affecting it but this spot here i dig it up a little bit i didn't overturn the soil Right, and what I'm looking to do now is take the hoe and create a little mound here, right? Forgive my camera skills. I know, boss. Right, so I have myself a little mound here. Now, what I'm going to do is just go through it and take out. You know, like those little things, 
right the same soil that i mixed before i want to add in about maybe three handfuls of this right remember the ingredients in here there's compost perlite hydrated lime and the river sand and i will just mix this up a bit now the reason why i choose to make a little mung is rainy season and we don't want the roots to be sitting in water right so i decided that what i'm gonna plant in here is a nice pimento so i make my little hole remember you don't want to go too deep all right that should be perfect as i say don't press down the soil right when i come and i water this everything will settle in nicely plants potted right and we need to wet them in properly right so let me hold up on this here for the while and let me water these plants i'll show you all how that's done right now the best time to really do your transplanting is either very early in the morning or late in the evening right but i'm just to make the video so i decided i will only have that one pepper plant planted right now i'll plant the rest this evening and these guys here right i'm going to keep them in the shade and tomorrow morning i will put them out into the garden right so we're going to wet them in here now a generous amount of water this is some lettuce that i'm trying in some very small pots all right observe something look at how quickly the water is draining out and that's what you want guys i think the person that we should really give priority is that pimento that we put in the hot sun right because the sun is blazing so let me water this guy in. nice and slow just enough water that you think now let's see how the the, the water is draining I will say for after having all that rain yesterday that soil is draining good enough for me so guys i think we will look to cut this video here right um continue to support i hope you're learning from the channel right that is my intention to share the little knowledge that i have right and I will continue to do research. I'm looking at other people's videos also so that it could help improve my content also. So to all the other gardeners locally from foreign, I want to thank you all for sharing your abundant information to the world, right? I am very, very grateful. And it's the same thing I'm trying to do, right? So guys, Thanks for watching.